What is up, guys, and welcome back to Channel Chris. Um, today we're about to head to, uh, man, oh, Tracy City. We're heading to Tracy City. We're going to pick up a 1972 F100 bump side. It's kind of brown. Um, looks really good from the pictures. Um, it's got a straight six in it, a 300, I think. He said it's got a blown head, new carburetor, um, some new other stuff, but the engine is no good, he said, which is no big deal. We've got this three, or we've got this 302 sitting over here that we cleaned up for the yellow truck. We didn't end up using it, so she is cleaned up and ready to go. We're going to slap that son of a gun right in that 72, and hopefully she'll fire up and be a good truck. Other than that, she's got a good stance, um, cool color, really cool looking truck. Not bad for the price. Um, let's see, we've got to grab some straps over here. We're going to pull out some straps to help strap that thing down, load them up in Ian's truck, and then we're going to run to the bank, get some cash, and we're going to head that way and grab that thing. So let's get some straps and get loaded up. There she is. She's looking good, guys. Not bad looking. Got a bump there in the shop right there. He's shortening the bed on. Gonna lower it a little bit. About to load this thing up on the trailer. We got it set up over here. Then we're gonna drag that thing right on the trailer because it's not running. He's got the head off. Got another dent back there. Got some cool rims on it. Heck yeah, this guy's got all kinds of cool stuff. All right, he's getting the tractor jumped off. Now we're gonna drag that thing over to the trailer, get her strapped down, head back home. All right guys, he's got that tractor fired up. I hear it running. I'm about to hook up to that truck and pull her on here. Got some drop beams there. All right, here we go, guys. He's pulling us. Oh shoot! All right, we gotta turn this wheel. We're rolling. We are rolling. Oh shit! I better put the camera down and pay attention. All right, here we go. I think. No, he's getting this from a different angle. Shoot, it's hot in this thing. Pretty clean in this old truck, though. Solid as hell. Dash looks good. There we go. Now we rolling, baby. Hell yeah. Them brakes is too good, baby. Come on, keep her coming, baby. Keep her coming. We got lined up with the trailer. Hell yeah. Alright, I think we're good now. Yep. I think we're gonna readjust and pull her forward. Oh, he's pushing us. Okay. This is sketchy. Okay, Just keep banging into us. Here we go. I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close. Oh shit! Oh shoot! I meant to say. Okay. Have to give us a little, 
little push there, buddy. Come on, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a push. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, push us, push us. We getting it. We getting it. Ooh, don't tear around my truck, partner. Sketchy? I say that was a little sketchy. Let <laughs> me throw a block. We gonna roll any? I got the tractor. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, that was scary. I ain't never did that before. to the house you can see her back there she is a solid looking truck man that dude was pretty cool he's got all kinds of toys out there he's all into the bumps and dent sides so I got his info maybe we'll keep in touch and link up on some other trucks but I'm going to uh, put the coordinates in the GPS and get ourselves back home okie dokie we made it back to the shop man she is looking good look at that thing I love the stance on that I don't think we're going to lower it or do anything to it other than just fix that motor. That's probably it. Just do a quick, uh, just quick flip on this one. The inline six is no good. We got a 302 we're going to throw in there. Get that son of a gun sounding good. So Ian's got the golf cart. I'm about to hook up to her and pull her up into the shop there. Middle bay, bay number two. Coming in bay number two right there. And we'll start out the swap. All right, we got it up in the shop, wasn't too bad. Hooked it up to the old golf cart there. Man, that thing has been a great tool. Hooked it up to the front, pulled it on in. Uh, starting to come down a little bit of rain outside, so sorry if you guys can hear that. I'll give you a little look over on the truck now. We've got the hood off, got it leaning over there. Um, he actually already had it unbolted, so made it easy. We just picked it up, moved it away. But uh, it's got the 300 in here. Looks pretty good and clean. Looks like somebody had painted it up and uh, put a HEI there on it. He said he's got a new carburetor. Um, not a bad looking motor. The head is in the back. Back here he showed me. The bed of this truck is a little, is a little rough, but we're going to see what we can do about that. The rest of the truck is solid as heck. Definitely for the price that we paid for it. Here's our valve cover here and he showed me, um, I think it's over here. I think there's a crack right there. So we can either, I've looked around at getting another head to put on there, but I just think making it a V8 would be much better. I have, we've got the engine just sitting here anyways. Might as well use it. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, I'll show you inside. I really like the seat other than there's a rip on the driver's side here. But the rest of it, super nice. It's always like that with these trucks. The seat is nice as heck, except for right here. The rest of it is super cool. Decent headliner. The gauges and the dash and everything look really good. The dash looks good. Pretty clean, solid floors. Got a new gas tank behind the seat in there. Leather door panels. Oh, dang. There, that's better. But yeah, she's a pretty good looking truck. Um, I guess the first thing we're gonna do is probably get this front clip off here. It's a pretty easy process if you guys haven't done it before. There are three bolts here, three bolts over there. Um, I think there's one, you open up the door. Let me show you. There's one in here. 
open up the door go through here and there's a bolt up in there look around with your flashlight you'll find it uh, there's one underneath right here and let's see you can go ahead and take your bumper off there's if you know how to take a bumper off then you just take the bumper off there are two bolts up here by the core support somewhere if I can find it, it's hidden under this thing but there's one there and there will be one over here right in there uh, also see up in here I don't got my flashlight with me so you can kind of see where I'm pointing up in there if you look in that direction there's usually like a little um, support thing in there be a couple bolts on that and you'll have to get all your wiring and stuff strip it off i usually just get all this stuff off and just throw it up on the motor and get it up out of the way and then you and your buddy can just grab this thing and just like that with the radiator and everything on it pick it up carry it right out of the way super easy to get work done from there if you're doing a crown vic swap or whatever the heck you're doing just makes it a lot easier with it only being about 15 16 bolts and takes I don't know, depending on how fast you work, but within an hour, you can have those bolts out and all that stuff set off and just take this whole front clip off. Super easy. That's what we're going to do. Take it out. Take out this motor. And, uh, yeah. All right, we're going to start disconnecting some stuff over here. Um, there's going to be... This plug here that's going into, looks like probably the windshield washer stuff. So we'll unplug it and disconnect this little rubber hose. Um, then we can disconnect the lights from here. That way we don't have to take none of this stuff off. That wiring will just come right off. Probably the same thing over here. We can, uh, I'll just unbolt all that stuff there. Drop it over here. And... We got a ground right there we got to take off don't forget the ground all right okay we've pretty much got everything out of the way now we're about ready to pull this front off um, we got we're gonna go ahead and take off the bumper so there's two bolts there's one here one there um, if you've got these on yours the bottom bolt is what holds that on so you climb under take off the bottom bolt that whole thing will come off and set it to the side we'll take off the top bolt and that bumper will come off um, we've still got to take off the two core bolts and then the rest of it's free i'll go get in and we'll pull that son of a gun off there Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, you're a good girl. Drop. <laughs> She's 
this out there now. Do you need any more help? Let me know. Okay, I'll go. Is that an in-law on there? Yeah. Yeah, that's the old in-law. Yeah, they, they ain't changing the Bam! Got it off there. Look at that. Easy peasy, man. No problem at all. It was a little hung up in a couple spots, but you've seen, we just got to jiggle it. That thing might not have been off there ever. So just jiggle it, jerk on it a little bit, man. That son of a gun will come off there. We got her all open now. Everything's off. It's nothing to get this dang motor out now. You've got one bolt under here and we've got one bolt on the other side right there. We are going to, uh, we'll probably roll it forward, lift it up on the lift, disconnect the uh, drive shaft from the transmission and our transmission linkages and anything that's hooked up with that. Um, I believe our fuel was already disconnected here. And uh, looks like maybe our shifting here for our, yep, we need to, I don't know what the heck he's got going on there, but we need to get that all, all disconnected. Okay, that's gonna be the next project. We're gonna roll this thing forward and get her lifted up in the air. Well, all right, guys, we haven't had this son of a gun probably about two hours yet. And I've got it tore all to pieces already. Of course, it's easy stuff, but you see we got that front off. We've been underneath here getting that drive shaft disconnected. We've got it out of there. We need to take uh, this bolt to the transmission uh, mount right there loose. Um, let's see here. We need to look under. Let's see if we can. Yeah, right there's our bolt to our motor mount. That'll get that free. Uh, we got a shifting linkage here and there. And, uh, it looks like, I bet you that went to that. I bet you it did. All right, then. Well, okay, we're going to keep packing away. Okay, from our shifting linkage up there, it looks like, you. I don't know if you can see way up there, but that one is the upper, that one is the lower so the lower one of the two is going to come it goes all the way to the back this back one and then this uh front one more towards the front is the shorter rod and it goes to the one pointing up up there it'll be the one to the inside so the bar going to the inside of them will come to this front one all right we've got one more motor mount left it's right up in here easy to get to it's 11 uh, 11 sixteenths socket and uh, you just get it up in there and get it out
Well, all right, guys, we got that engine out. She is looking bare as heck now. We got a pile of stuff over here. Got that old straight six out right there. Got the whole front clip, the motor, drive shaft, and uh, that came out pretty easy, guys. Uh, let's see. We got to figure out what we're going to do with these motor mounts. We got to get some 302 motor mounts. I'm going to do some research on that tonight, but uh, not too bad, man. I've only owned this truck for about four dang hours. We just went and picked it up and didn't get home to about maybe two o'clock this evening. And uh, you can see it's dark out there. I've been working all day. It wasn't too hard, but uh, yeah, been working all day on it. Uh, not too bad for the first day. Went and picked it up, got home, stripped it, got the engine out. She's naked, ready for the new motor to go in, start putting things back together, and she's going to be a runner. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. I'm about to go in and eat some dinner, and we'll be back out here tomorrow. All right, we got that all painted up, looking pretty good. She's looking nice and glossy. We did uh, that rust barrier stuff. I use it pretty often, it's up on the shelf. Uh, turns out really good. Got all that done up. Didn't hit the springs, I'll do them later. I was just mainly getting this area where the engine's gonna go into. We can paint some other crap later. So earlier we pulled it out of the shop. I pressure washed all this and got it cleaned up and then let it dry after lunch. We uh, and I hit it with some paint. Um, while I had it up the other day, I noticed in the back here, the leaf spring was broken. The bed was kind of sagging. So see up in there, it's completely broken. Luckily, we got spare parts laying around. So this one just came off of maybe Lincoln truck or maybe the yellow truck. Either way, we had some spare parts. We're going to, I got the jack under here right now, holding this son of a gun up. We sprayed the bolts down with some PB blaster right there. And we're just letting that set for a minute. We're gonna take off, we gotta take off these bolts, these U bolts right here. We've gotta take off this uh, bolt right here. And then we've got one right there. We've gotta take off. We can get this leaf spring out of here, swap it out with this good one. And that'll take care of that. So that's what we're working on right now. got that broken one out of there you can see two pieces means it's broken we've got this one here uh, pretty simple process we've got it all out now we need to get that lined up with that and it's got a little a hole here if you can see it's for your alignment pin on the bottom of your leaf springs make sure it goes in that hole and your front one is gonna go in there put all your bolts back on that son of a gun will be rolling smooth as eggs. So uh, let's go ahead and get that thing back in. I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes just watching that motor swing. Nothing else to do for the day. I've got pretty much everything prepped and ready to go. I have changed out those spark plugs already. Got the new oil filter on there. Um, haven't drained and filled up the oil yet. I'm going to wait till we get it in there. But man, she's looking good. Freshly painted up. 
Got the motor just sitting there swinging, waiting. As soon as those, uh, as soon as those motor mounts come in, we'll get uh, we'll get them in place, and we'll start hooking this thing up and see how it goes. Shop's looking good. Got the 302 out of the way. Man, that thing's been sitting there for like, she was sitting there dang near a year, hanging out right there. It was a cool, it was a cool garage piece, but it was in the way. Now we've got that over there in the way. But I think a fella's coming Saturday to pick it up. Uh, I guess that's going to be it for today. Kind of just hanging around. We hung up a couple new signs. Got the dropped out sign from the dropped out show we went to over the weekend. That was super fun. Um, what else have we done today? Probably about it. Cleaned up the old carb a little bit. Hung up a couple more signs. We got the tag sign and the men sign there on the door. It's pretty cool. Well, it's going to do it for today. I'm about to go get in the shower. And we'll be back out here tomorrow. AutoZone just left and uh, we got our motor mounts in now right there I got to snug that son of a gun down. We got our new perches in right here. I uh, picked those up from eBay It was like dude wanted like two hundred and ninety dollars for them. They are not new. They're used um, But I got actually we haggled down a little bit. I got him down to 240 so he did knock off some money but still that's a lot for just those you know that's crazy but whatever i needed them had to get them in the purchase that were there for the um the inline uh six does not work with those these are a bit shorter and wider so um what we did was you can see there's a hole here um we had to slide this whole bracket back to the next set of holes and everything lined up perfect there's already holes drilled for it those bolts lined uh lined right up this side over here we actually kept it in the same spot um this one went back where the old one was um not sure why of that but whatever those actually said i think an inch lower than the other ones also so we got those in we got to put this motor mount on now we got it over here we're gonna get it on get everything tightened up you can see she's about ready to drop in so as soon as we get those on and snugged up we're gonna set her down in there i've got the jack around there so we can kind of finagle on the transmission a little bit We'll get the transmission cross member back in there, bolt it down, and hopefully she's home. So, all right, let's get these motor mounts on and get this son of a gun in there. All right, we're back here the next day. We got it in, it's looking good. Um, the plan for today is, I guess we're gonna, I don't know. We might actually take this outside and pressure wash it up, let it dry. We're gonna paint the inside up with some of that new rust barrier black, all these fenders um, right here. Just paint everything up that needs to be black fresh and make it look good so that's going to be a, a project for today and then also start going through this wiring and stuff we'll set everything 
kind of to the side and make sure we're going to be able to link up all the wiring from this thing with that 302 I'm, I'm sure we're going to be able to everything's looking pretty good but this is my first time swapping something like this so i don't really know but we're going to find out uh, we're getting really close to having this son of a gun running uh I'm not sure if I mentioned it yesterday, but I, I put the transmission cross member back in when we put this thing back in and it bolted up in the stock location. So uh, there were two holes there. There was a front one and a back one. It was kind of looking like I was going to have to use the back one, but uh, once everything laid down, it went back to the stock location. So our drive shaft and everything should work up just right. So for you guys that are doing a, um, a, a six cylinder to the V8 swap, uh, just make sure you get those motor mounts like I got. I'm sure there's probably a different uh, way to do this, but just the easiest for me and to look the cleanest, I just bought some 302 mounts, stock ones, bolted them in. Remember to keep these in the same front bolts as the stock one, but on the passenger side, we moved it back one bolt. And uh, yeah, everything else lined up good for the back. So everything for the, the drive shaft and stuff will be good. We don't have to worry about none of that. We just want to get this cleaned up, get it painted. We're going to get it back on and uh, start wiring up some stuff. And man, we're probably just a day or so away from having this thing running. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get some help and get that thing outside. Okay, we got this baby outside. Wasn't too bad at all. You can see here how she looks. Just real rusty looking. Oh, forgot a bolt. So, we're going to pressure wash all that down. Get all this flaky crap off of it the best that we can. And, uh, and then I'll run some tape along the edge of the brown right here. And we'll plastic off all this and the grill and all that stuff. And then we'll, that way we can paint all that fresh black. Um, let's go in here and get some purple power. Let's we'll spray that down on it let it soak for a minute while we set up the pressure washer and that'll eat away maybe some of the some of the grease. I got this stuff by the barrel. It works really good. All right, I got a little jug up here, but she is low. We're gonna top her up. What's up, cute girl? Long video? No. You got this looking good? Thank you. All right, it's time for lunch. Kathy brought some lunch. We're about to go eat some Captain D's. Yeah? Oh, okay. Captain D's? Yeah, Captain D's. All right, Captain D's it is. I'll see you guys after lunch. Alright guys, we're back here with a little update. I have done a lot since the last video clip. I have not been recording. I've just been working away. Uh, so she's running and driving. We drove it into town. We got the guy to do the exhaust on it, my buddy. He did an excellent job. Got the turnovers right here. Goes up over the axle all the way back. Got it dueled all the way out, man. It sounds really good too. Uh, so we got that knocked out. The engine's all hooked up. She's running and driving. Everything on the shifter, 
everything's good um, except for the brakes it's not wanting to stop or the crap so uh, I've already done most of the work today I changed out all this setup here put a new cylinder in all new springs and hardware and crap like that um, this one was um, just completely dried out it was like dusty as heck it wouldn't even work the one on the driver's side only one side would push out a little bit the other side not at all this thing did not want to stop it was sketchy as heck whenever I drove it to the exhaust shop it's only about maybe four miles five miles from our shop so it was still it was really sketchy um so we got the back ones done they had the stuff in at AutoZone this morning so we went ahead and swapped that out uh we're waiting it'll be this evening before the front cylinders and all that hardware and stuff will be in for that and the brake pads so we're kind of just hanging out right now cleaning up the shop a little bit but uh i want to give you guys an update i'll show you this side here let me get the flashlight maybe it's hidden up in here yeah so it looks like maybe this cylinder had been leaking and it is terrible. There's a, uh, you see the fluid and stuff inside the drum there. But look inside here, like look at all that. See all that stuff? And then somebody has put in a clamp on the spring and the adjuster there. I don't know why. Uh, see there, I mean this thing must have been leaking for a while. No wonder we didn't have any brakes. You can see right there on the bottom where it was coming out. I don't think, I think I already tossed all the cylinders already. I'll show you. Like, see that thing? Look in there. That was crap, man. Crap. On both sides. So, yeah. That's why we had no brakes. Hopefully this is going to help out a lot. Uh, we'll get the rest of that finished up today or maybe in the morning. By the time the parts come in, it's going to be like 5 o'clock. I'm going to be done for the day by then. So, back is done. We'll do the front in the morning and we'll bleed the brakes all the way around, put the tires back on, and then we need to give her a good bath. Um, I could, you could hardly see out of that windshield whenever we were coming back from the exhaust shop. But, all right, that's gonna be it for now. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow whenever uh, we get this front done, get it back on the ground, and we'll get her running and uh, do a little walk around with it and show you what all we've done. All right, guys, we got old Brown finished up. Got old Brown finished up there. She is looking good, man. Just gave her a bath. Sounds good. She's running good. I ran her up the road. Got that carb tuned up perfect now. That's the 302 sitting in there. Looks good. Let's see, we got all the brakes done. I showed you guys earlier we were changing out all those brake cylinders and the pads and all the hardware we got all that done and she is uh she's stopping good now stopping real good got the interior cleaned up let's see man i wish the seat wasn't torn right here on the side because the rest of that thing look at that that is a cool seat but she's nice and clean on the inside here shined up real good let's see if she'll crank up find the key i've got it stashed in my pocket somewhere there it is let's see if she will fire up oh yeah she's running smooth as eggs sounds good nice so yeah that's got the old brown truck finished up nice little video there for you guys not a lot to it we didn't do much on this one just the old motor swap cleaned up the motor um did the brake work a few other things in there but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this one hopefully she will sell quick thanks guys for watching the video make sure you hit that subscribe button wherever it's at and the like button thanks for watching